Hello everybody, I am Fallen and this is Automation. Today we will be building a Supra lookalike. Yes, you heard it right, I am going to build a 2JZ engine. Or at least I hope to succeed at it, cause, well, I don't have specifics for this engine, I will be guessing uh, a bunch of uh, stats that we are going for, and, well, it is not going to be realistic, let me state that uh, right now. Nevertheless, I will try to do my best uh, at this build, as always, and we will be going for a body uh, that is uh, present in vanilla. That's this one right there. Why? Because I don't have anybody that is uh, well from mod and that would look remotely like a Supra. This one looks like a mix of a MK3 and MK4. So today we will be taking a break from my uh, latest series that is building a... Mm, well, basically, Car for each decade, the, the PFS series that I built for Car for 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and so on. Today, we are taking a break from that. Well, if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you to do so, because, well, it can be quite fun to observe how, uh, how each car is evolving through decades. Uh, anyway, let's keep it going. All I know about this engine, it is uh, made from cast iron, it is a dual overhead cam, it has 4 volts per cylinder, so total it will be 24 volts, and head, head material is made of aluminium. Also, fairly important thing is that it is 3 liters and it is square, so 86 to 86, uh, 86, to 86 in bore and stroke. For crank, conrods, pistons, I will be picking uh, things that I feel like they are fitting there. Like so, so very likely we will be coming back here. Compression, no idea also. Let's go with 12 to 1 for now. Uh, cam profile will be quite high, uh, but not too high. And we are going for twin turbo, obviously. Oh, there's one more important thing that we had to change. That is the RPM limit. It has to be 7.2 uh, thousand. That is the actual red line of 2JZ. Uh, at least the one with VVTi, and we are going for VVTi on this build. On the fuel system we are going with most efficient things, cause, well, this car will be uh, overtuned, that is for sure. Uh, original Supra did like uh, 330 horsepower, we will be likely going for at least twice as much, at least I would hope so. So yeah, 98 fuel it is. Headers have to be none other than tubular race. I will erase them because, uh, well, for turbo, turbo builds uh, we usually need bigger headers and bigger exhaust. For now, no mufflers, no catalytic conver converters. And we've got some issues with the engine right away. It seems that all we need for now is uh, better pistons. So yeah, let's go with them. Also, let's uh, change the balancing mass a little bit already. And do we need better cone rods or they are fine? Let's go with titanium. Let's go over the board here. Also, yeah, crank too. For now, all I did is changing a bit the fuel system. So the ignition timing is very advanced and fuel map is very, very rich. Uh, also, I've changed the quality to plus 15 all the way. Now, I think we should go for um, tune in terms of, in terms of the uh, actual turbos. I'm aiming for a lot of a lot of uh, boost. Uh, over two bar would be perfect, but for that we'll need to lower the compression, and also we would uh, need to raise the fuel map even more. Let's uh, max it out for now at least. The climb on this graph is uh, insane, but remember, we still haven't tuned the engine at all. Like you can see, changing the, uh, the inducer size is changing our, uh, our graph to be much more bearable. Basically, I want to do something like this, so the turbo kicks in very, very early, so we've got no turbo lag, but uh, the compression is too high, so the engine knocks immensely. Uh, let, me, let me change it right away, and we should be able to fiddle with boost even more. 2.5 bar should be enough. The other things to change would be, um, uh, well, the fuel system and some, some exhaust parts. 
I'm decompressing the engine even more and it uh, keeps giving us more and more power. You know what, let's go for this sweet, sweet spot of 1000 horsepower on high RPM. Uh, though we will sacrifice some lower end uh, power right there. And in terms of compression, we are also well set on 6.9, nice to one. Uh, so yeah, we can move on from the engine to um, actual build. Judging by what we have seen on previous graphs, this car is going to be great. So we, we, we will have basically instant throttle response and well, a lot of power to play with. I wonder if I will be able to tune it so it is drivable or at least uh, we, we will be able to drift with it. Uh, also, I wonder what to do with the front on there because well, I don't want to make it look like a Corvette. That is semi-decent looking body trim, now onto the paint. My Supra will be this deep grey, for the rims will come back later when I pick them. And now off we go to the front, there won't be much issue with picking the parts though. After all, there is some issue with the lighting. lightning. Um, well, basically they were poking through this uh, this part here. So yeah, I want to design my own. Anyway, actual Supra had uh, three lenses, and these uh, these ones had like uh, uh, two. So yeah, I'm sure we can make it work with uh, what we have in uh, vanilla automation. We don't need any any. Um, lights from mods at least i hope because these ones do not want to fit under huh okay the lights would be there but uh, no the last issue that uh, that stays is uh, these ones do not want to look uh, very well through uh, through our transparent glass so i guess we'll be left off with this kinda mm, kinda strange looking light on, on the front but i'm sure we can make it work mm, uh, the theme of the car will be dark anyway we've got our knock of uh, branding on the front some grill i am working on right now and well we've got to flesh out this this front a little bit more i feel like the car is still missing a piece or two so we are nearing and to be done with the front but still Still, I want to, I want to put some some minor pieces here and there. I wanna do my own uh, my own grill, but still I am looking and uh, not a grill, the hoop, uh, scoop. Sorry, on the on the hood, and uh, well, still I am looking for a piece that would fit uh, fit our build here. That was truckload of work, but it doesn't look uh, that bad. It's fitting the whole build, that is for sure. Uh, but you will be the judge if you if you like the look or if you do not. Uh, anyway, I think the front is done. Now we can move on to the sides and the back. And also, let me pick the wheels right away. I just got the wipers on there and picked the, the rims we'll be rolling with. Likely they will stay, I might change them, uh, we'll see. But I've remembered I need to add to this car a little bit of downforce. So we need to design a front lip. A neat little front lip is done, it is set in there. Uh, as you probably notice, I've cheated quite a bit, but we will need a lot of uh, downforce for this one. Also, I might need to design a side skirt for this one, cause we are going quite wide with, with this, uh, with this body kit of mine. Okay, this is most definitely better than nothing. Now, the only thing left here is the uh, backside of the car. Let's start with trying to fit a proper diffuser back there mm, it will be tricky the diffuser is there the twin exhaust is also there also maybe you have noticed but i've added some uh, small white pieces here and there so the car is not so monochromatic i know we've got only single exhaust in there but uh, i think we should go for the looks or maybe we shouldn't yeah let's try a few things out 
yes, we've got supra lights, supra like lights in basic automation, so I am going to keep them. Uh, just going to change this one part here. Mm, no, this one looks much better. Yeah. And the budging from the front is going in there too. And now we go for the last touches. That would be the, mm, the actual license plate. Just some finishing touches to define the car a little bit and we will be done and ready to go, almost ready to go into BMG uh, Drive. So what else is uh, to be done here? I guess we should add a spoiler on the small wing piece that uh, fits quite nicely into the build, uh, build overall. So yeah, I will keep it like that. Hopefully it will help us stay on the road. Right now I should, at least I think so, I should design the interior for this one. Started with seats this time cause, well, it was quite an easy pick. And now I should cover the uh, interior somehow so we don't see uh, the pieces sticking out in there. And we are closing in to be, um, to be done. Just steering wheel left here to be placed. I even decided to put a dashboard display in there, I just need to find a nice place for it. And the last piece here is the fire extinguisher in the back, but I have to make it red. And we are done here. Uh, let me change the window transparency and we can move on to tuning. For this build we just have to go with a sequential gearbox, but uh, do we have to change the trim here? Yes, we have to go forward in time to make it viable. So let's go with 2020 and uh, 7 gears will be fine. The gearing I'm going like this for now, I might do the gearing setup myself, I don't know. Um, for the differential we are going with clutch trace LSD and now the race tires, um, that will be for sure, that is new thing, I don't think I've ever seen them in game. Uh, soft is our pick. Moreover, we've got to go with uh, wider tires, very very wide ones, especially in the rear because, well, we've got a lot of power and somehow we have to stick to the, to the ground. So, yeah. Offset is set, rim material is set to alloy, now we are going for carbon ceramics, huge ones. Mm, I did change the brake caliper color, but I guess it didn't apply. Okay, now it is there. For the real also we are going with carbon ceramics, but for pistons and... For the looks we might go with uh, huge ones too. These ones should be a little bit smaller though. Some brake airflow and under tray is going to be there. Um, no bench in the rear, two seats on the front. Race interior, um, which is the lightest. Basic HUD. The most sporty here is variable hydraulic. We will be going with only ABS, mm, wish me luck controlling that car, safety, uh, standard 2000s, no, it's car from 90s, so standard 90s, and uh, lighter weight, and also we will be changing the quality settings there um, too, but not now. Active sport, uh, anything that's sporty we are picking right there. Race setting is for off-road racing or it is truck racing? I guess it's for truck. So yeah, we are we are kinda set. I will change the suspension tuning in a while. So the game suggests we can go over 400 km per hour. Um, I guess I can believe that, considering, considering we've got over 1000 horsepower. And uh, I guess I will spread the gears a little bit more, so we are not sliding constantly. Hopefully uh, we will still have enough power to pull through. Okay, that downforce is insane. 1000 kg, so, so what? So we, are, we wait twice as much on 400 km per hour? I need to tweak that down. 
Okay, so we'll be having a truckload of uh, downforce. Hopefully, it will keep us uh, keep us on track. Mm, and I think that is all we needed to do here. Okay, and just the suspension a little bit, and we are done here. And just last thing that reset is the offset. Okay, it is fine now. Okay, this is the final look of the car. This is the way I am going to export it into BMG Drive and we'll be trying it out on a truck in a second. See you there. Okay, there we go. In BMG Drive, the car is looking fine, mighty fine. And the rear brake caliper isn't painted for some reason, but that's minor issue. Also, the headlights look like they were intended to look, so that's great. And uh, what else? Well, the interior is quite a bit messed, but uh, we don't need that anyway. Oh, this uh, HUD works inside. Nice. So, let's take a listen. Like you can see, the throttle response on this one is insane. The last thing to do here is to give it a try. I guess the start isn't that good, considering I gave it quite long gearing, but it rips. Also, we get here insane turbo lag, so as we climb into the higher range, we are getting into, into power, the real power. Damn, this car is insane. <laughs> I think I did only, only one similar to this, that was the uh, Mitsubishi lookalike. I guess we can give it a try on a uh, on a timed lap on Laguna Seca. Uh, we'll see what can we pull out out of this car. It is surprisingly drivable, though. Okay, let's go. Rolling start on a gamepad without much commentary, because uh, well, I will have to focus on. Controlling this beast. I guess braking early here is a good idea. Hopefully we didn't break anything there. As you can see, it is quite fairly easy to get out, out of out of this side sweep we are getting into on almost every corner too early here very very early Okay, and we lost it, sadly. Well, still, I will try to finish it. The time isn't bad. In fact, the time is very, very good for a first run with this car. Yeah, imagine if why I had some time to practice it and keep it keep it uh, as fast as I can. Uh, it was 131, remember, because uh, for some reason uh, the rolling start counts also the roll up to the to the starting line. So yeah. Okay, the last test is upon us. That is the drag strip race, and the only car we can race against is. The Barubu, the Evo lookalike of mine, it is also around 1000 horsepower, and as you can hear, he's already flooring it. Okay, and the engine died. <laughs> For this car to be viable on drag race, I would need uh, to make it, uh, well, much better geared on the first one. Yeah, I died again. <laughs> Okay, this time I've got the gearing changed a little bit, so we should be able much 
better setup to this to this to this uh, race. Let's see if we can even start it. Okay, that is excellent. Perfect start. Not so perfect gearing, but as you can see, trips. 8.7 seconds, 163 miles per hour. Nice. It is nice to build an insane car from time to time. Uh, especially if it turns out so well. It looks good, it drives well, it could be a really, really decent car if I spend some more time on it. Uh, I mean by practicing and so on and so forth. But I think we should leave this off here because I've spent quite a, quite a bit of time on this build anyway. And it's getting, this video is getting very, very, very long. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Hopefully. Very likely. Bye.